Hello, my name is Ed Frawley. I own Learbird. What we're going to do today is show you an incubator. I bred German Shepherds for over 35 years, uh, a lot of them. I have a breeding facility uh, where we have four whelping rooms. Our whelping rooms are state-of-the-art whelping rooms. They have ceramic tile on the walls, the floors. Uh, each whelping room has its own drain. Each whelping room has its own uh, water source for hosing it down and each whelping room has its own exhaust vent. Now I've retired from breeding over 10 years ago. One of the things I would give in my left arm for is to have an incubator like this when I was breeding dogs. There were times when you have a very nice litter of puppies and as a breeder your whole opinion of this litter is based on one or two sick puppies and it as a breeder it just tears your heart out when you see that you have a sick puppy and you can't keep it alive. This is a unit that controls the heat that's inside the incubator. It also controls the humidity. This side, this side controls the humidity along with a humidifier that comes with the unit and again you can control that uh, through your own little controls here. If you go to your vet, the vet's gonna tell you to keep your humidity between 40 and 60%. Uh, it comes factory set at 50%, but you can adjust it to where you want it to be. The same thing over here, it comes preset for 86 uh, degrees, and you can change that too. You can even change it to Celsius if you want. So let me explain what it all comes with. It comes set up like you see here, with a humidifier, and I'm going to show you how to hook that up in a second. It comes with one red small heat lamp. For those folks that want, they can buy a, a black light uh, as an extra accessory, and who would want that? It provides the same amount of heat as the, as the red light, but some people will put an incubator in their bedroom at night so they can watch it. By putting the black light in, it's not going to throw out as much light to keep the breeder awake at night. It comes with a hydrometer. Now the system is set up when it comes to keep the humidity inside your incubator at 50%. It comes with an extra hydrometer to just back up the settings that you have here so you know that it's all accurate. So now, let's talk about how we put it all together. When it comes, it comes with a lot of wires, a lot of sensors, and I'm gonna talk about how simple it is to hook it up. And once you understand the theory behind the different colors on the electrical outlets on the top, it goes together in just minutes. It's very, very simple. So the way you wire this baby is you take your green that comes from your humidifier or your pump, you plug it here. Take the red or the yellow, plug it where you have the yellow dot, take the red, put it in the red here, so you've got red and red, you got blue and blue, and then you power the whole system with this cable that comes out and just plug that into your extension cord and now your whole system is wired correctly. So when it comes out of the box, you're gonna have four different connectors, for lack of a better word. This is a power cable that's gonna be hooked up to your fan. For your fan. And to put that on there, you just push it on like that. Now your fan's connected. Then you have two actual, three actual sensors really. You have a heat sensor, a heat sensor that goes, uh, that's associated with the humidity, and then you have your humidity sensor. Now these go through the little grommet holes in the back. It, when you first get it together, push it all the way in. I'm gonna show you how to adjust it in a second. The second one can go over here, push it all the way in. I'm gonna show you how to adjust that in a second. And then your humidity sensor gets pushed in to this grommet right here. And you can either just let it set there or you can do the adjustment. So the way you adjust these now is you pull your cable through 
and you simply tie a little knot. You don't have to cinch it down tight. The only purpose you're doing here is have something like this. I'm gonna put it back a little bit. And then I pull it back. And there. It's held in place like that. And you can do the same thing with the other cable. Tie a knot in the cable. Go into the back. Thread it back through. If I can find it, there we go. Thread it back through. And then to keep it in place, I think if it was me doing it, I'd probably go on the back with a little piece of duct tape. So now let me talk about what's inside the incubator. You're going to get uh, a pad that your puppies can lay on. That's washable. It also inside has two lights. It has your main lamp here where your heat lamp will be in and it has a little round LED light that you can turn on and off with the switch on the top so that you can turn it on. You don't have to have it on all the time but when you go up to check on your puppies and you don't want to open the door to change the heat setting or the humidity setting, you just turn the light on and you'll be able to see it. They're easier to see than with a black light or with a red light. So there we are. That's everything that comes with it. The top lifts off very easily. So you can take it all apart, clean it out. It's very, because it's plastic, it's really easy to clean. Now let's talk about the humidifier. The humidifier comes in different pieces. The key to your humidifier is when you get it, it has a hose that can stretch out. And you're going to want to stretch it out. So the important thing when you use a humidifier is to make sure that the line that comes out of the little opening in the side of your incubator and goes into the top goes directly down without any loops in it. So you can pull it apart and the key is you don't want it to sag at all like that. You want it to go straight up and in, and I'm going to adjust it now. Push it all together just to get the general feeling so it goes straight in like that. I can even shorten it up a little more. So this is what we'd like to have. There's a grommet in the side, which is where the humidifier tube goes. You can just simply pop that out. You don't need to keep it. And then this is how it goes in. The humidity goes right through that hole. If you would ever need to put oxygen in, there's another grommet here and that can be put out. Now let me show you how the humidifier goes together because it's a simple, simple deal. And by the way, when you use this, make sure that you're going to use distilled water. It'll just stop scaling and calcifying in your humidifier. There's a black piece looks like this and there's a little white grommet that goes on the top of it. So the black piece just screws in there like that, doesn't screw, just presses in. This goes over the top, pushes down and it's a perfect fit for your hose to go on like that. Now I've got a snug fit there, comes through here and you can just adjust it so it's beeping now because it's not at 86 and I'm going to stop it. It's actually 69.8 and you can go here and you can see what the humidity is on the unit and you can watch it as it goes up. Remember what I said, it's preset from the factory at 50% and it will stay, it should stay within a percent of 50 once it fluctuates up and down and gets the correct amount of humidity in it. If, if it goes too far above 50, you do have a control on the side or the bottom of your humidifier so you can turn it down a little bit here. So you have two controls. You have this down here 
and you see it went up to 52 and stopped. It's preset at the factory to stay within 1%. And we recommend running this without puppies in it for an hour or so when you first get it so that you have a feel for how your incubator works. We don't want to have any mistakes. If you have any questions, feel free to send us an email. We'll put the email in the website here. And uh, good luck with your breeding. Good luck with your, with your puppies. So in closing, one of the things I want to point out to people that are new to Liberg.com is our website is so big that when we put new things into the website, it, it kind of disappears into the abyss. And if you're new to Liberg.com, you may not realize that there's over a thousand videos that we've put together over the last 35 years. The vast majority of them are free. I recommend you go there, use the search function, find the videos that interest you, and see the quality of work that we have to offer for free.